So here are the bits and pieces I will be working with today. And while you take a look at these, I want to tell you a bit more about this video event. Now the idea for this little production definitely came from my last year's Bits and Bobs challenge. And I wanted to give it a twist and a new start. And so I enlisted the help of five other artists whose videos I really enjoy watching. They're all very creative people with their own unique styles. I then went ahead and sent each of them an envelope with lots of bits and pieces to be used in a collage challenge. Everybody received the exact same things I have here on my desk, so we will be working with identical pieces and I think it will be very interesting to see what everybody comes up with. We can of course add our own mediums, use our own tools, pick our own substrate and of course use our very own creativity. Now, when I put these envelopes together, I picked random pieces without a plan. I mainly went for the things I had plenty of so I could send everybody the same things. So I too will have to figure it out now. Now, as you can see here, I will be working on a canvas and never mind the circle that will all get covered up. And next, I will be working on my focal point. Now, in order to give everybody the same type of pictures, I just made photocopies of some images I thought would be interesting to use. So here I am using the rest of the photocopy paper to draw out the bottom half to this monk image as I want him complete. And to avoid the seam right across the skirt, I gave him a brand new one just by cutting around the arms. And next I glued everything together, I cut it out, I added some Mod Podge and it is ready to be worked on and completed later on. Now, like always with these video events, the idea is, of course, for you, our viewers, to follow the lineup of links below in my description box so you get to see all the videos all the participants have posted. Please take a little time to do so. We would really appreciate it. None of our videos are super long and I know you won't be disappointed. More about how to follow the links will be below in my box. So please check it out when you are done watching me put this together. Here I am adding some black gesso to my canvas and from here on all the steps I will be taking will be self-explanatory. But before I let you listen to some music, I just want to mention that three of the artists who participate in this event are across the pond in Germany. Three of us are here in the States. Now my German friends will post their videos in German or German and English or only English or with English undertitles. But either way, I think art is very universal. The things we are making are collages, which are very easy to follow. And so I know that language won't be a barrier. For now, I will leave you with some music. I will talk to you towards the end. Of course, like always, all my mediums or any explanations you might need will be in the captions. Enjoy.
adding the dots was the last step I took and here you can see that I have very few papers left. I do have a few of the smaller embellishments still but a lot of things I was able to incorporate into this canvas. Now the background of course took a lot of the papers and by using glazing medium I made sure that you can still very clearly see the book pages, the tissue paper and of course the design on the bricks. The texture paste helped me blend everything and together with the window and door frame added to the little bit 3D effect. I did protect the more sensitive papers with my Mod Podge, especially here in the doorway. So the whole project has real nice texture, which I enjoy. I did choose the monk as my focal point, mainly to challenge myself with a more unusual image. I really hope you enjoyed watching me put this together. I had a lot of fun with it. And please do not miss watching all the other videos in the lineup, which you will find below in my description box. I know you will enjoy the diversity of styles and to see what everybody else did with the same materials. See you soon. Bye bye for now.